But 100% though, if you rewind and go back to that particular point when we left, that was 100% Pennywise sitting in the back line. He was just waiting. He was just sitting there going, What a nice boat. Do you want it back? We can be friends, Zira. <laughs> Pennywise, get out of the sewer, you... Disable all of the miners, huh? And how a million jokes I could make about that that would get me cancelled. Holy sh**. It's not the first time I've been made to be a peeping Tom in this f***ing game. It's as if Rockstar thinks I'm some kind of filthy pervert or something. And look, to a certain degree, they're not wrong, because sometimes I can be. But that's besides the point. You pervert! Get out of the girl's dorm! See, everyone's calling me a pervert, and again, they are correct. But it is very rude to call me one regardless. I'm just going straight back in. Dumb. <laughs> What is going on YouTube Universe? This is Zira back again with another installment of Zira's Retro Rewind where we throw back to the games of yesteryear and today we're continuing our journey on the PlayStation 2 with a little game from Rockstar Games called Bully Canis Canum Edit. Sit back, relax, it is game time. We are picking up the action where we left off previously. There is a mission right behind us, very opportunistic. Stronghold Assault, let's get it done. I may be a loser, but at least I've got loser friends to hang out with. Whatever. We wouldn't let you into our gang, Pete, because you're weird. Weird? Look at you, you've got a weak bladder. Hey, Alex, and your I dick's out. I've got a plan to take over those jock scum. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, so what do you say, Algie? Us help you? Yeah, think of everything I've done for you since I got here. You? You're like a bouncer. We're a bit above helping people like you. I mean, get real, duh! Pea stain! Now I'll give you a wedgie, help. you fat fuck. Get it. Damn! Well, you know what you gotta do now, don't you? What, beg? No, get to Ernest. He runs that click with a rod of iron. You get him on your side, and you got the rest of the meeting out of the palm of your hand. How? By joining the trigonometry club? No, that would never work. You gotta show him who's boss. You might be on to something. See you later. Peter, hey, you're smarter hey, than you look. Can I come for once? Just come instead of moping around, Jesus Christ. Ask the nerds about Ernest's whereabouts. I'll do that. Hey losers, mind telling me where your fearless leader is? I'm afraid your diplomacy. Put there. you in the bin, you fuck, He's where is he? Observatory, but don't tell him I told you. Well, go to the side alley beside the library, and we're going to be going to the observatory. I actually really like the nerds hanging out in this game. Forget it, Hopkins. You're not getting in with their fortress the of solitude of sorts. Get the key code okay, from Thad. Okay, it's one one three eight. And Thad, if you think you're leaving, think again. Fucking bastard. Make your way to the observatory. Don't mind if I do. And we're going to be using the slingshot a lot because I'm pretty sure... Yep. The nerds are armed with firecrackers and fucking potato cannons and shit. Fucking take you all down and I'll take your fucking gun. Bottle rockets. Don't mind if I do. Good night. Good night. Thank you for the rubber band. Good night. You're not putting up much of a front, guys. Find it highly amusing that I've got to fucking beat these fucks up, considering all the help I gave them in the beginning of the game. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. Lesson learnt. These nerds can get fucked. I might need that. Proof in the pudding, ladies and gentlemen. Nice guys finish last, especially when you go out of your way to help out people less fortunate than yourself. Especially guys that piss all over their pants. And have their dick hanging out of their shorts. I'll fucking damage your transformers, alright. I'll beat the door down and come kick your ass. 
Fucking dog. Got him. That is where you're rudely mistaken, my friend. Anyone else to take out? I'll kick it down myself, you bastard. I don't need no cannon. Actually, I was lying. I do need the cannon. Coming in. They can shoot at me all they want. It ain't gonna deter me, mate. Get fucking wrecked. Oh, negative 100 nerd respect. Holy shit. We've broken in, so it's now time to throw down. Ernest, what are you doing? Give it up, dork. You work for me now. You're pathetic. You've defeated my weakest compadres. You've just met your match. I want us to be friends. I need your help. I've had friends like you. The kind who treat you like dog muck on their shoes. No thanks, bud. You mean shit? Oh, my brains against your brawn. Welcome to hell, Jimmy Hopkins. You want to go to hell, Ernest? I'll fucking take you there. I'll be rich. And you'll be sorry. Nah, you'll you be dead. Spell potato, Jimmy. I mean, I love me some potato, but I'd appreciate it if you fucking stopped it. What's wrong, Ernest? A bit shaky. Yeah, you and your little bombs, you bastard. <laughs> you like this? Oh, you like this, Jimmy? Oh, you like this, Ernest? Put my foot up your asshole, you bastard! Can't we all get along? No, we can't because you're a bastard. Maybe now he'll listen to me. Here, here, just take it. You're just like everyone else, picking on the little man. I'm not like everyone else, <laughs> honestly. I want your help, you now fucking listen. idiot. We both want the same thing, to teach those jocks a lesson. From now on, we're buddies. You have a funny way of showing friendship. We're friends. We work together. I came here extending the hand of friendship and you wanted to fucking shoot me with your spud gun, you fucking moron. Well, from memory, I think it's time for us to head over to the library. I was right. Funhouse fun. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Pete. Yo, Jimmy, I'm over here. Do you fly up, hey, LG? Hi, Fuck's dude. sake. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, cat. Looks like your homies took care of some lames for us. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't get fresh with your homies. <laughs> Can you please talk normal? Oh my god. This is my normal style of rapping, bro. <laughs> All right, enough. Get the fuck out of here, LG. What's my quest? All right. Salutation, Sir James. It seems my clever brethren have taken control of the funhouse at the carnival. Well done. All that education and now you run a funhouse? Genius. You simple-minded noble foot soldier. <laughs> the football team is going to be there this afternoon. You could really cause them some problems. Okay, explain it to me on our way over. There's not much to explain. Just access the control rooms through the maintenance doors. Then do your thing. Cool. Moonwalk. Oh, yeah. oh stop embarrassing yourself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're going to the carnival. Ow! 
Just need to buy us a ticket. Make our way in. 159 bucks. Fuck, I'm making some bank. We might have to come here in our spare time and try to build some tickets up so we can win some prizes. Especially the clown suit. I reckon it'd be fucking hilarious to run around in the clown suit. That clown mouth always reminds me of that one scene in Happy Gilmore where they go play mini golf and the clown keeps spitting the ball out. Oh, help the nerds. Fucking dick stomps. Come on, Carly. Come on, Kirk. Fucking uppercuts. You're going downtown. I'm so glad you got here, Jimmy. The ducks have taken over. You gotta get us out of here. Lead the nerds out of the fun house. I can do that. It's a shame it's not as simple as just going out the fucking front door. Magic. This is actually probably one of my favorite missions in the entire game because it's so different. You got all these obstacles to dodge, then you can turn the obstacles against the jocks when the jocks rock up. Beauty. Alright, Dick Cheese, let's go. Everyone knows that. Good night. Now I'm gonna whoop your ass. Get fucked. You're going down, smart ass. Piss off. Pretty sure there's a door outside just to the left, but can we get any beam coal up in here? Nope. A little bit of Healy Heels would have been perfect. Search the maze for the nerds. Just gonna have to keep an eye on the mini map in the top right hand corner just to make sure we're not getting trapped, but I wanna make sure we check every room just in case they're in one of the singular rooms. Thanks, Jimmy. That's great. Beautiful. Where you at, fatty? Kind of ironic calling somebody else fatty when I'm a big man myself, but anyway. It's hard to get around me. Bucky and Fatty. Who names these kids? Seriously. Disable all of the miners, huh? Well. Fucking hell, million jokes I could make about that that would get me cancelled. Holy shit. Fucking piece of shit. Pretty sure from memory there's three sets that we need to deactivate.
Have a nice nap. You son of a... You fucking clown. Okay. Last one. There we go, gentlemen. Clear path to freedom. I hope getting the nerds on board is worth my fucking time in the end. Find the nerds again, huh? The fuck? Pardon me. Sorry, pal. That was my bad. Jeez, that's not ominous. I'm not trying to be weird. Fucking Pennywise sitting in the back row. Twenty-five bucks, not bad. But a hundred percent, though, if you rewind and go back to that particular point when we left, that was a hundred percent Pennywise sitting in the back line. He was just waiting. He was just sitting there going, "What a nice boat. Do you want it back? We can be friends, Zira." <laughs> Fucking Pennywise, get out of the sewer, you bastard! One eternity later. We are heading to the observatory. And if I'm recalling correctly, we are going to have that some fun with the next mission. If I remember correctly. Yes. It was exactly the mission I was thinking of. Good to see you. Make it quick, Ernest. Now, as our new leader, I have something I need you to do for me. What? I mean, look, do you want to take down the jocks or what? Of course I do. Yes, well, I have a plan. Okay, what is it? Well, what I need are some inappropriate pictures of someone they care about. You want pictures? Yes, it's a complicated plan, all right. I need some naughty pictures of that Mandy girl. I'm sure you do, but what has that got to do with this? Oh, oh, this? This is purely for the purposes of this plan. I'm not like that at all. You want me to get incriminating pictures of the head cheerleader just for your plan? The kind of pictures that could land me in jail or worse? It's not easy being the boss. Man, this better be good. It's not the first time I've been made to be a peeping Tom in this fucking game. It's as if Rockstar thinks I'm some kind of fucking filthy pervert or something. And look, to a certain degree, they're not wrong, because sometimes I can be. But that's besides the point. So we're basically going to follow the head cheerleader around now and take some, uh, take some sneaky and cheeky snaps. Including having to break into the girls' dormitory and get something really cheeky, if you know what I'm saying. Let's just sit up in the bleachers, get ourselves nice and comfortable. No. Now what we need to get a better angle here. Let's 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 just bide our time. There we go. Keep trying. Oh, you I'm fucking idiot. It. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I'll have to go change. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait to get out of these clothes. 
can't wait for you to get out of those clothes either. Especially when I'm in there trying to snap some snaps. Because that's exactly where this is leading. Need to take ourselves to the girls' dorm. Do some sneaking. On the surface, it sounds like a very simple objective. Get into the girls' dorm, take some photos, get out. But you've got one of the teachers patrolling the hallways. If you get busted by any of the other girls, you're done. If the head cheerleader catches you, you're done. At least when the teacher catches you, she only boots you outside and you can go back in. But if the head cheerleader, for example, catches you, it's game over. Mission failed. We don't want that. Sneaking in through the attic. Perfect plan. Oh, give me a G and G card, thank you. See, there's already a teacher patrolling. You can see on the mini map. You are Fuck. in a world of trouble, young man. You pervert! Get out of the girls' dorm. See, everyone's calling me a pervert, and again, they are correct. But it is very rude to call me one regardless. I'm just going straight back in, dumb bitch. Great. Oh no. Don't touch me, you perverted, twisted, sicko, peeping Tom, creepy son of a bitch. That probably sums me up to a T in this game right now. Oh, looks like we've got to start this all over again. I'm coming for you, Mandy. Ah, oh, much better. Now I'm ready to dazzle everyone with my charisma and popularity again. I'm ready to dazzle you with something else. You know I'm saying. Might require you to have another shower. This is much better. Return the pics to Ernest at the library. Ernest, I hope you're ready, mate. I'm on the way. Some nice pictures oh, for you. I can't wait to see them. Yeah, I bet you can't. Avid student of anatomy, you know. Yeah, I bet you are. And that's oh, that. So well, worry, we'll ladies and gentlemen, prison. I'm going to end the episode here. I think it's the perfect way to end it. Handing those photos off and just, uh, I think I need to lay low for a little bit after all this pervert comments that have been going down. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. If you've missed any episodes, there is a playlist linked in the description down below. Go and help yourselves to those. And make sure you got the notification bell hit so you get that little ring-a-ding-ding when I upload something brand new. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.